Hello, okay. guys. How are you doing? Hello, we are live finally again after all know, the glitches. <laughs> Amazing. It's good to be back twice. <laughs> yes. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> So we we sang so already. Tuba, I think you need to go. We no, can just to go all, he he didn't get an opportunity to listen to us. You need to start all over, Uzma. So as a welcome, we thought we'll do a DJ Akil mashup of all the songs which are our favorite, and that too the one which I I have personally grown up listening to. So keh do tu me ya chup rahu dil me mere aaj kya hai. नहीं नहीं अभी नहीं अभी करो इंतजार इंतजार खत्म हो गई मत करो इंतजार मैं हूँ डॉट मैं हूँ डॉट मैं हूँ मैं हूँ मैं हूँ डॉट So Akil, welcome, welcome, welcome! It is so amazing to have somebody who has changed the face of Bollywood and dance music and has created, you know, iconic mashups. And it is it is so amazing yeah. having you here. Thank you, thank uh, you so much. You're somebody who has, you're somebody who has, you know, gone up and down the roller coaster. But has stood yeah, his still, ground with resilience. Still, still, still going up and down. <laughs> 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 and has you know made sure that he created something that many would follow years to yeah, in the years yeah. to come. Definitely. So, how are you feeling being here today, Akil? I feel great being here, and I'm really excited. And I don't really do these uh, interviews <laughs> online, so it's like very cool that I'm doing this. <laughs> Quite excited. Lucky us, lucky educated, yeah. very yeah. and thoughtful Thursday. Yeah. yeah, you know. <laughs> Educate to Elevate is a platform of education. Here we are guiding young people, and this time in the second episode, we went ahead and we got for the young leaders, young bring unconventional career, a profession to be revered like any other. So over to you, Coach Uzma. Let's begin this beautiful journey, and let's ask Akhil some of. Amazing question that we have. do not miss this episode where we will be talking to DJ Akin. Know all about his journey, about his life. The man has been so generous that despite being really tied down with engagements, so much so that he has a flight to catch in the next hour and a half. He's here with us. So let us begin our questions quickly and hear him. Sure. Yes. So Akil, you started DJing in the year two thousand. I remember I used to be in school that time, and I did not have cable. So I used to wait for those, you know, programs which used to come on yeah. Doordarshan, especially on the weekends. And we used to listen to all these remixes. So it used yeah. to be a time to wait, and you know, nobody was really familiar with this concept of, uh, you know, DJ. So what made you take up this unconventional profession back then? And your journey from Akhil Ali to DJ Akhil, what has been it like? <laughs> so basically, I was I was very I was very fond of music, and I used to make mix tapes for people, and uh, people used to like my selection of music and everything. And then I was just like I said, if people like my music, what what else? You know, how do I make more people like my music? So I considered DJing. Somebody told me, you know, you should DJ. So I tried DJing. I told some of my friends, and I started playing at their parties. Then there's a whole big uh, like it'll take two hours if I explain to you how I learned how to DJ from that idea. So forget that. But yeah, I started playing at my friends' parties, and they liked my music. One party led to another, led to another, and then all my remixes were coming anyways online. So that's how the name kept getting bigger. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> You know, uh, when you think about DJing, you think about these well lit up places, the lights, the discotheques, all of it. It's all about glitz and glamour. But what is the real insight to the life of DJ? So, life of a DJ is really cool. Uh, you have uh, endless flights and sleepless nights, <laughs> and you <laughs> you. Keep packing your bags. Reach one place to another. You don't have fixed timings of eating, and no gym timings, and no timing for nothing. 
all you need to do is you need to pack your bags leave the city take a plane go to the other city show up in time looking great for your other party <laughs> yeah. so definitely uh, people all all see the good picture but there's a lot of lot of it's tough work too. i mean i i would i would defend myself and say i don't work that much so i don't have to do all that i choose limited limited work so i don't have to go through all that so i obviously go to a party then i do obviously sometimes you have to do two parties so i do have to do back to back but mostly i try and work less so that i can show up feeling fresh looking good at all the parties <laughs> that's wonderful yeah. and in fact we often say this thing also as coaches that you know this uh, hustling toxic hustling culture should not be there we have to you know yeah. take care of our sleep health and everything yeah and that, that made that made me uh, you know think about this question because i mean we are bollywood and music lovers but they there has been a drastic change you know in the shift in the taste of the music so what do you feel from 2000 to 2022 now what is that change in the indian audience so the, the simple change is when we used to make remixes the press used to flack us saying you are recycling music and now bollywood is only thriving on remixes only so the change is that we started the revolution and these boys are copying <laughs> and now it's cool now it's cool it's cool like bacha does a remix it's cool when i kill the remix oh my god you're doing a remix you're copying someone else's song so that's the difference yeah. everything is the same yeah. yeah so you know this despite all of this like you know when you guys started off and you created this era of uh, remixes and mm-hmm. following you were like a zillion people who were trying to do their own thing but it was not well received by you know by the people the industry captains of the music industry yet akil made a name for himself he carved a niche for himself so how did you manage that i mean nothing i just kept doing what i like to do i kept making remixes i didn't bother about the press people were loving the music people were dancing on it universal hmv all my record it was just selling millions of of cd yeah. that way so i I absolutely was new I was on the right track and I had platinum gold selling albums and like like I can't even tell you and even when youtube revolution came millions and millions of streams still today you can see so nothing get me stop me I was just going for it in fact your wow. recent remix of uh, shivali has also crossed i think 2 million views or something by now yeah <laughs> almost i think yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so good yeah that's a great song great great movie great song that way yes it true is. you know uh, since we are two women you know taking the flag of right, educate to right. elevate uh-huh. sorry i didn't get that question yeah, yeah. i'm saying repeat? that yes absolutely see we are two women taking the forward the flag of educate to elevate and we are a lot into women empowerment and i know it is <laughs> so there are a lot of de- so female djs good one what you're doing thank you thank you thank so you. much it means a lot correct so and yeah of course i mean it's it's great what you're doing this movement for the for everybody educating people you know because nobody does this nowadays yeah. that way and we specifically wanted to choose so it's a amazing team for like what you're doing yeah for our season 2 for unconventional profession so because there is a lot of pressure on our uh, young ones even today to become engineers or doctors and we really want to normalize that it's okay to choose your passion what you love correct and you know uh, djing so, is yeah please akil continue so you asked me about female djs right yes so yes. i'm i'm really happy that uh, females have also started participating in djing and we have some fabulous female djs and it's not only now but female djs have been djing almost from 15 years over that mm-hmm. way and they're wonderful they look gorgeous and they they actually that tumka jumka is more exciting than a man <laughs> djing you know so it's really good to have women djing around it's like a nice you know fresh breath of air change <laughs> absolutely yeah so since we are on a really tight schedule you know we would love for you to share can you hear me Yeah. Yeah, yeah can you uh, can you share five tips for all the young brigade who are like literally hanging on to probably every word that you're saying for all those guys okay. who want to get into djing and want to have a career okay. what do you think are the five well, basic tips that they need 
So see, see, basically, people think DJing is partying. So all I believe is like you play music to entertain people. Don't party at that time. Make the money and go party somewhere else. Don't party on your job. Very important. So sure. and show up, show up on time. Listen to the crowd. Play all kinds of music for everybody. And uh, yeah, respect your job. Dress well. Look good. excite people sometimes people are tired so you need to take the mic and you know excite them get them going that way just these basic things that way and in terms of technology and learning uh, akil is there some kind of like some investment that a person who is just starting should do some you know you would like to tell in some little budget what instruments so or what the person can buy to start his so career basically i'm sure everybody has a laptop now Yeah. yeah. Yes. So everybody has a laptop, so you get controllers as cheap as ten or eleven thousand rupees, where wow. you can uh, download download some softwares and use those controllers and mix like how professional DJs mix. So oh. these Pioneer makes a lot of them, and uh, Record Box is one software I would recommend. You can download that. That's free also, I think, and you can actually start DJing that way. At least for learning, it's free. If you are playing it professionally, then maybe you have to pay a subscription okay. or something. Um, one small. But I, I would definitely recommend somebody to go take a nice proper course, spend uh-huh. about thirty, forty thousand, understand the CD players, understand the whole art of DJ that way. Mm-hmm. And if they want PhD, come to me. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. We are up for tips yeah. <laughs> to <Yeah>. learn. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I- Akil, you know there is one question here because uh, I know personally also a lot of young people who want to take up DJing, and uh, like I read an article in which you stated that the DJ uh, the remixes which are made today do not connect to the heart of people because it's all like sab kuch mila den or they are you know trying to bring everything in one song. What in terms of you know understanding the music and choosing, can you give one tip to the budding DJs? So basically, I what is stopping him, following him? No one's trying to be different. Even like the same key of the song, they want to do it, and people need to change. But they are doing now. If you go to see, mm-hmm. there are some great musicians who've come and changed the whole industry, and they're making mm-hmm. new kinds of sounds, different sounds, very Western sounds. Like if you see mm-hmm. Jugnu or Bacha, that is so Western. Yeah. You know, it's like. Hey man, I just hung out with Weekend last night, and now I'm making Jugnu. <laughs> you heard a Weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Weekend is amazing. I really like his work. Nanda ji. Yeah. So Bacha no, hung no. out with Weekend, and he came and made Jugnu. It's amazing. <laughs> wow! Super duper. Now we can't have DJ in the house and not have a boring. Just have a boring question answer. So now we're going to have rapid fire. And we promise okay. DJ that we'll take him out for dinner as a gift hamper. <laughs> oh wow! Can you hear me clearly? <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh, you can answer in one line, one one word, one line. It's up to you. Your favorite okay. DJ. Armin Van Buren. Oh. Okay. Your favorite destination to perform. Ah, uh, Miami. Oh, that's lovely. Whoa! <laughs> What is Akil's nickname or a pet name at home? Oh, they call me AQ. I oh, thought so. AQ, interesting. <laughs> I was just yeah. about to type AQ when I was talking to you, and I thought you know that is going a little beyond you. May get offended. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, any yeah. pet peeve or something that irritates Akil? Any. Uh, so, something that irritates you, any pet peeve? Nothing, nothing. I have, I am as cool as a cucumber. I'm very chill. Uh-huh. Nothing irritates me. <laughs> Whoa! Any one phobia? Uh, I, I, I don't like mess, so I like cleanliness. Oh, that's that really amazing! Yeah. Your best experience in the life as a DJ? Oh my God! It would. Be one of them would be playing at the World Economic Forum twice. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think that that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> yeah. So your favorite. Remix. I mean, he had Bill Gates and all that. <laughs> Bill Gates was the uh, 
president of the United States. He was dancing to my music. So. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. That's, that's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Your favorite yeah, remix yeah. of yours? Uh, tu, tu, tu hai wahi. Oh, yes. Oh, I used to love that. <laughs> and yeah. a food that you cannot live without? Uh, Japanese. Ooh, that's interesting. Oh. And what is it that Akhil doesn't his leave his house without any product, any anything at all? Mobile phone. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's true for ID, everybody. ID, ID, wallet, glasses, mobile phone, <laughs> AirPods. <laughs> no, phone has become our oxygen these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally, yeah. man. That's right. And. Um, what is the mantra of Akhil's life? Uh, just chill out, relax, work a few days, yeah, and party a few days, and have a good life. Man. Don't chase anything because what is written in your destiny will come to you. No point chasing wow. something. Wow. Be happy That's with what amazing. you get. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think that is you. so 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 amazing. No, I was saying that is so amazing because that is exactly what we have been advocating too that, you know, you get your life once, okay. live your life, enjoy your life and make sure you're having your fun too. You know, work, but don't exactly. let your work kill you. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. And Akhil, you know, apart from the youngsters who are watching this show, I mean, who of course in their heart has this burning desire to take up this career, there are a lot of parents who are also watching. You know, something that you yeah. can tell them, you know, you being that epitome I mean, in this field. So today, a DJ makes more than a doctor, lawyer, engineer can make. I'm not saying makes, can make. So, mm -hmm. I mean, DJing is another cool profession. Like if you're a dentist, you're a doctor, you're a lawyer, you're anything. DJs can make also up to that much money. They don't have to work every day. They don't have timings of working. And it's... Mm -hmm. And it's, 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 it's a cool life, man. You get to meet so many people. You make so many people happy. You get a lot of blessings because people want entertainment and you're entertaining them. That's very true. Like, like acting, acting is also a very cool career. Actors, you see the amount of money they make and the fame and the name they have. So DJs are almost like 95% like less than actors. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got such a nice face that you, you can give any actor, you know, a hard time. <laughs> yeah. No, and no, this... no, I'm, I'm lucky them. I, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> lucky us, <Charism. are> that. <laughs> this charismatic young man, I must share with the audience. You know, when somebody walks up to him and says that, oh, you get so much money for pushing buttons. Instead of getting offended, he just says, okay, man, I take up the challenge. And he makes them dance the whole night. So much so, not only do they apologize, they come and hug him and say, man, we had the time of our life. So yeah. salute to such a lovely guy who really makes so many people happy and Thank you. you know brings out the best in them. Thank you, but I still Absolutely. just push buttons. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but those that buttons is, are really high. important. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, we sit at home, we produce music, we make music, then we the... push buttons. First uh, we make the music, we program it, we make people sing, we make music, then we come press buttons. But out there, we're only pressing buttons. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one thing that has always intrigued me about all you young people is, are you with us? Yeah, yeah, yes. I'm here. So what's intrigued me about all you young people is that you, you, you play the kind of music that makes people go gaga. And then it's like a fun party environment. How do you deal with the adulation that comes your way? Because so many oh, people want to just come and fall all over so you. and because they're That's so called work and, satisfaction. So, how do you so that's the work satisfaction we get when we play music and people go bananas. <laughs> <laughs> when you speak bananas. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's lovely. That's lovely. And we saw you carrying a little pup in your uh, DP. Uh, yeah, I have three so shih tzus. You are a dog guy or you're a cat guy? Ooh, no, wow. no, dog, dog, dog. So I have three yeah. shih tzus and they're lovely and they're all here running around here and there. Oh, so cute. <laughs> That's so, so you know, cute. We are almost reaching at the end of our episode. And as promised, we are not going to make Akhil live, uh, you know, miss his flight. And uh, no, just no, no. this, you know, that we want to advocate to all our audience and all the people who are watching this show that, you know, 
follow your passion do what Absolutely. you love you have to you have to you have to follow your passion i mean end of the day that's the only way you can you know su- succeed you have to go and believe in what you do and say you are the best Absolutely, yes. Believing in Don't yourself. Don't believe that I want to be like him. Be like, say, I am the best. Believe in yourself, yeah, that way. Uh, and yeah, there is no age group. You can DJ from the age of eighteen, I would say, because they'll be allowed in the night clubs, eighteen, nineteen, till whatever, man. David Guetta is, I think, fifty-six, fifty-seven DJ. Yes, he that is. Way. Mm-hmm. And and another thing you had asked me, I forgot to reply, but you said there are so many DJs. So if you throw a stone on India, it will either land on a Punjabi singer's head or a DJ's head. There's so many of us right now. <laughs> There's literally so many. <laughs> yeah, that way. <laughs> yeah, but few people make the mark, and I think those are the people who are really passionate. So you have been a living legend, whether you uh, accept it, don't accept it, feel humbled about I'm it. But too young to be a legend, but yeah. <laughs> but you still are, at least in the world of DJing, where people yeah. really look up to you. And, I feel uh, legend. You know, legends are the guys who retire and are sitting and chilling. You know, then they become legends. No, no, not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> but you know the okay, way we can. We can, we can say you are an inspiration. You. See, Shahrukh yeah, Khan and Shahrukh Khan, Salman Khan are like top actors. They're not legendary actors because they're still acting. So yeah. So that's why you need to understand they're still DJing. You know. <laughs> and may yeah. you keep DJ, okay. DJing for many many years and may yeah, you know, yeah, everybody yeah. The tap their foot. <laughs> That's the plan. That's the plan. Please come up with lots more different kind of music where Definitely. you know there there are new trends to follow and people have lots of fun. Absolutely. So before you go, lots of lots of new music mm-hmm. all lined up. Everything is coming. Blasting. Yes. Wow. Okay. We look mm-hmm. forward to it. And uh, before you go, we definitely like to know. How did you feel about being here on the Educate to Elevate platform? I feel really nice. Thursday? I hope I hope the kids watch this and they learn a lot from this. One more time, I'm repeating: DJing is not about drinking and partying. It's about going to a party, let people drink, you make them party, you make sure they have fun, you make some money, you take that money, then you go out party. Don't yeah. party on your job. Very important. <laughs> <laughs> this this was the That's, best for the last yeah. the best advice. So yeah. thank Super. you, thank you so much. Thank you, uh, thank thank you guys for your time. Take care. Thank, thank you, Akhil. Thank you for being here with us. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>